Welcome, 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 welcome to the podcast. This is Mr. Ish. We're at Kids Bay Boys and Girls Club, called their clubhouse. It's Friday. Everyone's feeling in a good mood. I got a staff member here today. I got a couple of juniors here today. So hopefully we should have some good topics. I'm going to open up the, the communication board and we're all just going to say our names and uh, what we do here and how old we are and how long we've been here, all that good stuff. All right, so from my left to my right. Okay, my name is Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, and I'm 20 years old. Okay, I'll put her on the spot. Maybe she didn't want to say her birthday or that, but that's okay. She's uh, 20. Yeah. She's a young adult. Yeah. Okay, and what else? You're a staff member here. You need to tell people that. Yeah, people don't know. I'm a staff. Alyssa's a staff member here. We'll get to your story in a second. Next. Hello, my name is Kadeem. Listen. I'm a 12 years old, and I've been here for seven years. Making it forever. Um, he's a, he's a, we, me and you go way back like rocket chairs. Um, what about you, miss? My name is Emily. Hey, Emily. I'm 11. I think this is my first time here. This is not your first time in this room. This is your first year here, right? Yeah. Okay. Emily's been, I want, if, when you listen to some of these podcasts, Emily's been partly part of some some good conversation so emily is always welcome in these doors she's proven herself um all right guys what do you want to talk about bring something to the table what's on your mind the um, deem anything yeah talk it talk about it um miss Alyssa, how is it if, like yo this is not a personal interview man <laughs> we need something that we all, all talk about i'll get to miss Alyssa in a second i control this board i control this room <laughs> so don't stay in your lane or as people would say, stay in the car. I'm driving the car. You stay in the car. Don't open the door. Right now you open the window. We don't need that. Close the window back up. I'll deal with her. Listen in a minute. What do you want to listen to in the radio station? I'm giving you a privilege. Talk to me. I don't know. Now you don't know because you only wanted to talk to Miss Alyssa? Yeah. All right, I'll get to her story. What about you, sweetie? What do you have to say today? I don't really know, but. It's Friday. I mean, you could just be in a good mood. I know I'm in a good mood. It was about today, about, and we had a trip. Too. Yeah, we had a trip. Oh, where you went? We went to, to River Bank. Bank. Riverside Bank. Riverside Bank. Bank. Whatever it's called. Park? Bank. Yeah. River Riverside Bank Park. Bank Park or something like that. It's nice, right? Yeah. yeah. They really have a cool. track, football field, basketball court. Yeah. And yeah. We was doing you you never been there before? Nope. My first time. Wow. You need to get out of your neighborhood. There's a lot of good stuff happening, you know, out of the, you know, what we would call the four block radius. I get out of my neighborhood. Where, okay. you, where do you go? Go to the park. To okay, the well, store. what park? To, to Central Park? Yeah. You ever been to Van Collin Park? Yes. Okay, so you're a park man. Yeah. You're not going to the parks. Okay, <laughs> what about you? I mean, when I say, I was, have you ever been to, like, the Statue of Liberty? Yes. Have you ever been to, no. you know, World Trade Center? Like, like, you know, iconic places to go to. I mean, some people live in New York and never been to these places. I don't only go to parks. I go to gyms. Okay. I went, I went to a Froyo place before. To where? A Froyo place. Froyo. What is that? What is that? Frozen yogurt. Oh, Froyo! You got me. I was like, yo, you went to <laughs> a new spot in Soho or something? Uh, Froyo. Okay, I've been to. I I like um sixteen handles. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. That's my yeah, spot. Yeah, I've been I don't. There. I don't do. I don't do. What's the other one? Something berry. Um. Blueberry. I don't know what it is. I don't do pink that one. berry. Pink berry. Yeah, I don't do pink berry. I'm a, I don't do that one. Yeah. I only do 16 handles. It's the same. Thing. I'm a loyal customer to my 16 handles. I like that one. That's the one I roll That's with. That's so mochi. Oh, it's so good. You may, I'm, I might go over there today. <laughs> like you just put that in my head. So it might be a gift for my children. Now to Miss Alyssa. We try <laughs> to wait. We try to do four minutes of other stuff, but it's not going to happen. This, this whole table goes right around to you. All right. You've been here for talk to us. Um, since the summer. Summer. So, so you started. Like, you started off as uh, SYEP. For those that don't know, SYEP is a summer youth employment program. It's a big program in New York State. I don't know if other states have it, but it's a big program in New York State where we give teenagers. Uh, I say we. I say the government. Um, the government gives teenagers a chance to get working papers and work in different places. And it's a, you know, it's a, just a seven-week job, but it does open their minds to different things. So I'm just telling you about the program. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, so I've been here since the summer. I was working with juniors in the summer too. So Okay. Yeah. So you worked in the summer. Mm-hmm. Obviously you did something right because you caught somebody's eye. Mm-hmm. Somebody vouched for you. You happened to be the right age or you were a good worker and they reached out to you to see if you wanted a, a job and come back over here and work as a as a regular employee. So that's a that's a big step, especially as a young adult. I'll give you a I'll give you a little clap at the wrong one. Um so how was that how was that moment when they told you, Hey, we want you back, you know, to work regular, you know, after school programming? Um, I was excited because I enjoyed working here in the summer and all the staff members. I liked working with them and yeah, this is such a positive place and I felt like if I made an impact on on other people's lives, like on the children's lives, and I felt that I could do the same in the after school program. Okay, that's great. How about um, how about what's the big difference between summer programming and and I would say uh, don't open the door, summer programming and uh, after school programming. Um, summer programming is different because it's longer hours and it, um, you know, we have groups and there's group leaders for each, for like about 15 to 20 kids. So, um, and it's more like you go on trips and stuff like that. In the, in the after school, you know, we stay here, we do different programs here and we just work as a floor. Yeah, I mean that's that's a, that's a, the main difference for those that haven't been here in the summer, or, or don't know about a summer program. We have a great summer program; it's ten hours a day, and um, we do do a lot of trips. We do have the same building. We go through all the activities we do here, but it's in a summer environment, so we have a lot, a lot of fun because we have more time with you guys. So if you never heard about the summer program or you never been here, it's time to start telling your parents now. Save up as much as you can. People say it's a lot of money. I mean, I've done the breakdown. I talk to any of your parents if you want. It's technically twenty three dollars a day, and I know as a parent, I can't get my mother to watch one of my kids for twenty three dollars for twenty three dollars a day. And you get food, you get breakfast, you get lunch, you get trips. It's it's definitely worth it. So if you can save up, tell your parents to start saving up. It's it's definitely a, a good investment. And I you know I'll second that. And then you know we may have to. We may do good activities like this and swimming and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So right. what else? What's, what else is going on, guys? My daughter went on her first trip today. Oh. My little daughter. She's only two, two and a half. She went um uh, she went pumpkin picking. Oh. So, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, you know, I missed it because as a dad, I'm always working. But I'm going to take her in two weeks. So oh. I'll, I'll have some nice pictures. Oh. We have the day off, so I'm going to make it a, a family day. Kadeem, what's on your mind? You look angry today. What's going on? You need a hug? You want me to go over there and hug you? No. I do hugs if you want. <laughs> what's going on? Nothing else? You want to talk to Miss Alyssa about that? I'll let you I'll let you talk to Miss Alyssa now. Yeah, ask her whatever you want. What college do you go to? I go to Bronx Community College. Bronx Community. Shot them out. You started and a question. That was it? Yes. You know, you know, Kadeem is part of my my <laughs> what was it? Was is is um KB. KGB TV. KGB TV. He's, yeah, he's part of my KGB TV crew. We did it last year. We went out there and we were interviewing people, and Kadeem did a great job. He grabbed that microphone and he was making sure he was asking some questions. <laughs> people loved him. We got a lot of praise. We got a lot of um. We, we were up on a, on a YouTube channel. You can see him interviewing some very important people. After that, he was like, "Who's that person?" I was like, "You'll see. Google him." Very important people, millionaires, all types of people. And he was right there with a microphone interviewing them. So he, he did a great job. So, I you know, I, I definitely appreciate what you did for us last year. And uh, hopefully what you continue doing this year because I'm going to need you for some interviews soon. I just didn't tell you yet. Um, so, you know, I'll talk to you about that later. How do you get into that? Um- Sister, you already in and you don't even know it. Okay? I've been having my eye out for you. I've been seeing your podcast. I know that you can handle yourself. Bam. All we need to do is talk to Miss Margaret, get our stuff together, and when we start doing our interviews, you you you'll be in there. We'll, we'll make sure you're you're a part of it. Yes, sir. What about you, Miss Alyssa? What's on your mind? What's something that you would like to do in this clubhouse? 
what do you what would you like to to see that we don't that we don't have what could you bring to the table you know your artist you you do music or something that you do that's your specialty if you had a club what would it be um i like to game so, you're a gamer yeah I'm a when, gamer. You, when you say a gamer you're a gamer um all the way like computer no. board games checkers no, I play Fortnite, yeah, okay, so but I play it on Xbox. I don't play it on the the computer or nothing like that. No, but what I'm saying Xbox? is that when we say gamer, you know, I'm a little older, uh -huh. so let me just correct myself. When I say gaming, I say, hey, I like to play Parcheesi. That's part of gaming, but you're talking about computer games, right? That's how you see yourself. Like, if you had a club, the club would be computer games, or or would you have board games included, like Monopoly? You have you will have you know. Uh, you know whatever uno all these different card games and yeah. also include you know some some gaming yeah are you are you old school gamers or you know pac-man defender oh i love all those games retro uh, games yeah. that's what they call them now yeah the, the frenzy game all that i love it all right so let's let's get let's get that happening yeah i, I last year what i wanted to do is someone someone brought up the topic about gaming and i was like okay i will let you do it because i used to be in charge of the first law I said, I'll let you do it, but there's going to be a twist. You need to create your own game mm, and not computer, Donald. not computerized. Yeah, it was Donald. Oh, it was Andrew O'Donnell. I said, not computerized. It has to be a board game and there has to be a reason, you know, to move the pieces a certain way. And once you create that board game and then we could go into the retro gaming and then go into something else. But that board game was going to be a big part of it. And no one wanted to take that challenge. Mm. But I think it's, I think it could be done. I think it'll be done. No one wants to do it. I have a lot on my plate, so I can't do it unless I just force myself to do it. Which one of these days I just... Every once so in a while you're I, challenging I, me. Every once in a while I prove myself and I just be like, you know what? No one wants to do it. I do it. Because I know I can. I don't, I don't believe I can't do anything. But maybe I'm stubborn. Maybe I'm just, you know, like that. But if, you know, if you wanted to be in my good grace... And you want to say, hey, you know, I'm thinking about doing gaming. And it's just not playing a game... And putting a, 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 a you know NBA live on the screen, and you want to do lesson plans, and you want to do something like that, then that's the route to do it. Mm -hmm. I think right now we have two two good um, uh, directors with Miss Francesca and Mr. Donald, and Mr. Donald Daryl. I mean, Darryl. Mr. Daryl. Oh, you got me confused with Donald. Um, with them two, and they're really open to a lot of things, so you can mention it. Yeah. And I think that you know, as long as you go in there ready to to actually do it you can get it done your guys are too quiet today i feel like i'm just talking i'm fine with talking but this is going to be a podcast that's only i'm talking so i can't put it up but that's okay i don't i don't, I don't mind talking oh well, you're looking at me like i'm crazy let's just have a conversation i don't know what to talk about well i don't know miss, miss Alyssa. i can tell you right now miss Alyssa has uggs on and this, <laughs> it's October 3rd. I, I, I did ask around to see if it was approved. If anyone got an email saying it's UGG weather. Um, she just maybe, you know, jumped in the boat a little bit, but she has UGGs on. I and feel it's cold. I feel like it's cold enough outside. It was cold enough yesterday. It's cold enough today, and it's going to be cold enough tomorrow for me to wear UGGs. So I okay, we can't, we can't oh. worry about tomorrow. We are dealing with today. <laughs> you have UGGs on. Your feet are sweaty right now. That's all I have to say. Because it's hot in this building. Because it's not a <laughs> weather. It's hot in this building. It's not a weather. Thank you, Kazim. Okay. <laughs> um. What else? Um, what we got on our mind? I got a lot on my mind. So Hope you guys me. have older siblings? Yeah. Yes. Well, he does. His brother's cool. He's not cool. Yeah. You guys like your older siblings? Yes, of course. You got siblings? Yeah. How many? I have two. I have oh. a baby sister and an older brother. When you say baby, how old? Three. Oh, she's almost as old as my daughter. Yeah. Um, I I I was an only child, and then later in life, I learned that my father had more kids, so I got two sisters. I got um my sister Jennifer. She was in the army and navy and all this stuff, and she lives in, I think, in Tennessee right now, and I just found out. Uh, I would say. 10 years ago about another sister and um she lives in the bronx so I, I get to see her a little more often and her name is jessica so that's my two siblings but they i'm i don't have nobody else from my mother like true siblings 
Like I was the only child for my mother. Then I have two sisters that my mother adopted. My mother adopted two kids. Oh. So they are African American. So my family looks crazy. Because <laughs> my stepfather was Italian. He passed away. May he rest in peace. And my mom's Spanish. And and I have two African American sisters. So my mother no no place to get braids done, nothing. So it was all new to her. Like she didn't understand what a perm was. She didn't understand none of that <laughs> stuff. So she had to get educated quickly. So my sisters wanted extensions and she was like, Oh, I don't know what to do. She just used to be, you know, putting rollers on somebody or blowing or blow dry on the hair. She didn't understand that that, that African American hair is a little different the texture. So she had to learn that the hard way. But that's that's my family. In my household right now, I got two girls, a cat and a wife. <laughs> all, a cat? All, all women. Yeah, my cat's name is Ariel. You have a lot of women in your family. I have too many women. <laughs> and my mom, my mom don't live too far away from me. She actually lives uh, about three floors down. Would you move back in with your mom? Uh, my mother. Yeah. Um, I've I've lived with my mother when I was in when I was an adult for like a year and a half. Um, it wasn't bad. My mother's really, really, okay. she's okay. She doesn't bother me. I'll pay the bills. But I know that I don't want to live with my mother. So I had my own <laughs> I had my own apartment since I was 17 years old. So I've never lived with my mother after that until um, I ended up breaking up with my first wife. And then I lived with my mom for about a year. So you but, guys um, like living with your parents? Mother, yes. Of course. They don't pay no bills. The uh, question is that. Well, I'm just asking because like. You, you pay know? bills at home? Yeah. Okay. You know how it is. <laughs> You're about to be out too. That's true. Come on. I learned that real easy. I, I, I graduated when I was 17 years old. And um, I think I lasted two months living in, living in my house. After that, I was like, yo, mom, I'm paying all the bills. I'm doing this. Just get out of here. And I ended up taking an apartment. So I've I lived all by myself ever since. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Why are you knocking on the door? You see the doors locked? I guess people want to get in. We're going to have to end this sooner or later. You guys are not too talkative. This is like my interview. Oh, my goodness. All right. That's okay because whoever's knocking on the door is not coming in. So that I can tell you. All right. Well, everybody say goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for trying it. Check, 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 check. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. check, check, check.